All right, here we are again for the third and final video. This one's probably going to be a little bit longer. So this is going to be about hierarchical level of detail, but we'll just say H lods. Basically, I've been working with this map currently to kind of show you a problem that can occur. There still might be some problems that might occur in the video, but we'll see. But basically with this map, this was just a kind of throwaway map that I've made to test some different things out. And basically, I'm just going to get rid of this now. What I did, partially deliberately, the truth is, I deleted something that I shouldn't have deleted. When you make a new map, you are given these HLOD instance layers as an emerge one usually is generated. Now I stupidly, when I first started playing with Unreal and I made this map, well, I say first started playing with Unreal, when I first look, started looking at optimizing the landscapes, this terrain was something I just added to this project right at the beginning. And I didn't know anything about, you know, the importance of keeping certain files and stuff. And yes, it was stupid, but basically I deleted the attached HLOD instance layers that were linked to this map. So when I attempt to build the HLODs, they basically don't do anything. Now there is a way that you can get it to, uh, you can create your own ones of these, but I'm not going to cover those that specifically in this video. I just want to make you aware that you should not delete, when you make a new level, you should not delete these because it sets everything up how you need it. Um, and that's it you don't you know i wouldn't bother trying to delete these you can make your own ones of these there are presets of these I believe in the engine content somewhere i'd have to go through it and find it again but somewhere somewhere deep in these these uh files is the kind of template for these moving on from that um i have actually created some other maps uh that are not affected so i made two test maps one is uh basically the bog standard map that you get when you create a new level uh, this open world thing and uh, I've basically applied a material to it and that's all I've done basically nothing other than that the beauty of this map is that it kind of teaches you quite a bit about how you should set things up it gives you some hints essentially so if we were to look at this map in the visualizer you know, you, you can kind of see that we get these uh, LOD settings and then you could probably, you know, click on there and take a look at them. Although currently these are just basic standard settings, but this is a very small map. But you can kind of see how they're distributed across the entire landscape. You could probably try to replicate these bands and how they kind of apply, uh, but scale it up to your scenario. Then you can also look at, you know, the grid size and how that's kind of dealt with again on this one it seems like the whole thing is just loaded but you can see you know how these um things are set up and get a kind of rough idea you have a look at the hlod setup and how they've got it here that's just me just saying it's worth you exploring uh the base open world map that they have made because it will give you a good hint to what you should do but anyway moving on to the main main event okay so i've set up another map this is a 4k map with some decent height detail some valleys and whatnot and it's going to be what we're going to use to build hlods because on this version we have these layers so when we build it should use these correctly and it should make our hlods and everything should work fine in theory I could get an issue and then I will have to stop the video and restart it, but I'm hoping we don't have to do that. So what we want to do is click onto our landscape and we want to go down to our LOD distribution and maybe open up our HLOD thing as well. This is worth noting that I think this basically determines what texture is applied to the, the HLOD when it builds them. So you can come through here and sort of mess with these. And it is worth you changing these values and building and testing and, you know, I'm sure you can just play around with that. When it comes to building your HLODs, essentially the LOD distribution settings determine what builds the HLODs. So what is recommended generally is for you to set these to 
an optimized distance view, I would use the colors first in the visualizer and I would say, let's just go with two. So that will get rid of LOD zero, bring these into the distance and maybe play around with some of these settings. Try You want to try and get some nice, you know, you want to get some nice distribution, but you want to also be coming back and forth to see how bad the distance looks. So with other LODs, you can see that that's quite, quite a big change. So let's try 2.5. That isn't so bad. And then let's just see how much of a difference that is between 0 0.5. Okay, so it's quite a lot. Let's put that to 1.5. That's not so bad. All right, I'm just going to do the extreme and do a LOD zero screen size of two. So these are going to be the LOD settings for my HLODs, essentially. Um, and once you've done that, I would recommend just saving. And then we essentially just hit this build button up here and we come down to build H lods. Now we could do that one which builds all things. So anyway, we just build do do this build H lods and we get this little pop up and it's asking us to delete the previous ones or build them. So we want to build them. And this may take a while. Okay, so we are back. The H lods have been built and basically what I've done all I've done is I have saved it and I've reset the LOD distribution settings back to their presets. Now the reason I've done this is because sometimes you get issues with the player collision where if your landscapes are set to different LODs but you've built H LODs etc and you have very, all these settings can kind of cause problems so you want your um you at least want around you to be back to lod zero in the you know in the visualizer we want to make sure that we have um lod zero within the player's kind of close view because you have things like f floating grass and stuff so if you ever have that check your play a collision and then play with these lod settings to see if that's the issue so We've got this back now to the presets, which is what we want. And now we want to see if our HLODs are basically working correctly. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick play from here. And as you can see, we have HLODs. I'm hoping that you can tell. But in the distance, we have these mountains here are very much lower quality. And my suspicion is that basically they are going to be using the merged layer um, instead of the middle ground kind of instance uh, that we have made. So you can see there we've got some savage gaps in the terrain. And overall, the distance looks OK. If we was to cover this with things like fog and stuff, that might be OK. But I'll just show you now. Like if Yeah, now that we've backed out, you can see how much detail has been ripped out by the H lods uh, in the kind of current standard setup. So what we want to do now is go back to our runtime settings. Now that we've built our H lods, we go back to our runtime settings and we start playing around. And what we'll notice is that we've got this H lod set up. So before I do that, I want to quickly re enable the preview grid and this is essentially us loading in the proxies at runtime, like we went through at video in video one. So this is our main layer. And then we want to look at our HLOD setup. We have index zero and index one. Index zero is our HLOD layer instanced layer. So that is essentially this these assets that we that are generated for you. That's essentially what these are. We have instance and merged. So instance is in this index zero and then merged is in index one. So it's uh, you can't preview the merged unless you select this spatially loaded, but we'll get to that in a second. Well, actually, no, I will skip to that. So basically, if we make it spatially loaded, it allows us to do a preview. And because we're spatially loading it, that is why we're now allowed to change this distance, but because it's not spatially loaded, 
I think now I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what we are seeing currently when we press play and it's really low quality in the distance. I think we're seeing this merged uh, version because it's not spatially loaded. Um, it is just in the background. I think it's like the under layer that we are seeing in the distance. Hopefully that makes sense. But then this zero index uh, instanced one is the one that we want to be able to preview and control. And we want to probably push this one back to, in this case, we probably want to push it to this range where this mountain uh, looks really bad for us. So I'm just going to push this back loading range, bring this loading range further until we get to that distance uh, that we want. So I have a suspicion it's going to be quite far. Probably want to do something like that. Add a zero. Um, I'm just going to swap the one and the two with zeros, which will make it smaller again, but not noticeable. And then I want to add larger increments. All right. So this should, in theory, and I will save it, this should, in theory, if we change its color to something like bright green, and we minimize that, and then we show our preview grid for this, and we change it to something like yellow. So this is what we're running in runtime. Then the green la layer is our HLOD, and then anything beyond that should be our merged layer. That's what I think. So now when we press play here, we should see slightly better resolution on the hillside, which we do. So, I mean, I can't tell how much better it is, but it definitely is a bit better. We've no longer got that gap problem up there. And overall, things are looking a lot better. And that is it. That is HLODs for landscapes. And yeah, I'm liking my uh, character Omar, who is one of the playable characters in the demo for the game that I am building. If you want to follow that game, it would be awesome if you could jump in and, uh, you know, keep up to date with it. Jump into the Tecastus Studios public Discord, and uh, there'll be updates as we progress. We're making a big a chunk of stuff soon and there'll be like the first kind of intro video of what's happening with this game that's kind of what all this stuff is themed about you know hopefully see you there